Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mercedes Osa. To all the new subbies, guys, welcome, welcome. Please do not forget to turn on your notification buttons. That way, every time I post a video, you guys will never, ever miss a video again. So, as you guys can hear, I've got a baby complaining in the background. Now, if you're a mum, that's like a regular, like, occurrence. Like, Guys, so today we're doing newborn essentials that I actually use. And as a new mom, like, I will tell you my experience as a new mom, I went and I bought everything that the internet and its mother was telling me to buy. However, I'm gonna repeat this, however, everything that I bought is not what I actually use. And I just wanna put you guys on what you actually, well, this is what my baby's preference is. This is all Zaya's preference. I don't know about your baby, every baby is different, but I'm gonna tell you guys what Zaya actually uses and we'll do a separate video on what I bought and was actually pretty much useless. So some of the things I'm gonna show you in this video, she actually uses, she likes, and then some of the stuff um, is, some of the, is it, we've just basically come up with it. Some other stuff we've had to come up with as she's, you know, uh, as we've gotten used to her and we've actually know what she likes and she's letting us know what she likes. And then we've thought, oh, okay, that actually works. But in the beginning, probably some of it is our own invention of things. Some of it is just what we found along the way. So we're gonna get started. I've got some of the stuff in the background. Now, um, I'm just gonna, jump straight in and I don't want to talk too much but the first thing I have to start with is her milk now as you guys know Zaya is no longer breastfed she is a formula baby and the formula that we use at the moment is Aptamil now I absolutely love 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 this brand of formula Zaya absolutely loves it and I will explain to you Zaya's journey with this formula. Now, when she was first born, we basically used the in optimal infant milk, which is the number one. That did, that was good for the first two weeks of her life. However, um, Zaya, um, it was too thin for her. Zaya tends to drink quite a lot, uh, you know, quickly, and her little stomach can't basically handle it. So we needed something a lot thicker. And then over the next few weeks, we actually are now using this brand, which is the Optimal Reflux and Regurgitation. This milk so far, we've she's been on it for like three weeks and it's been, it's been doing wonders, you guys. Like I'm not even gonna lie, this is like the best thing that has ever been invented. Like in my opinion, because she's been doing so well on it. When she was on the um, um, first newborn infant milk, she was basically, um, she was just vomiting after every single feed and it was as if she basically hasn't eaten anything because she would vomit it back up. Now with this, she manages to keep, she does not vomit at all. She basically keeps this down and I am so, so happy with that. You know, as a new mom, I'm just happy that she's not sick all the time because I know what it feels like being sick and it must not be pleasant for a baby to be sick all the time. Um, what I found also about this brand is that there's so many other um, different types of milk that they do. And um, the when I went into the shop to actually look for this milk, I also, I saw that they had the colicky, um, they had the colic baby infant milk as well. So, so yeah, this is the milk that Zaya is on. She absolutely loves it and it's doing so, so well for her. And as a formula fed baby, this is the brand that I would recommend to any mom out there that is feeding the baby. It would be worth, this basically would be worth your try. That's all I'm trying to say, that this will be worth your try and it's worked so well for us with Zaya and we absolutely love it. The next thing I'm going to share with you guys is the pseudo cream. Now, I absolutely love this. Coco absolutely love this. Mom absolutely love this. Let's just say everybody in this house loves this. Why? Because we basically tried, um, before pseudo cream, we tried Bepanthen. Bepanthen didn't do anything for Zaya. Um, Bepanthen just, yeah, it basically just didn't do anything for her in terms of nappy rash. Now, every time we, ch we um, gave her a nappy change, we basically put um, Bepanthen on her and she was still getting bumps and spots. And 
her little new new was just not looking right it was just not looking right it looked painful it was just it was horrible nappy rash is a horrible thing however when we did try the pseudo creme it disappeared straight away and i found that pseudo creme stays on a lot longer whether you know she's peed a couple of times or she pooped it does stay on a bit longer and it does work you guys i am not even going to lie pseudo creme works because now everything is clear she has no spots we are having no problems with her in terms of nappy rash because we religiously use pseudocreme now i would say the tip is to just use pseudocreme every single time you give your baby a nappy change just dash on some pseudocreme on them and make sure that you spread it everywhere you guys just make sure they spread it all over their back cheeks all over everything and they are good to go this to be honest has been a lifesaver because i really do not want to be worrying about my baby girl's private parts and the next thing i'm going to share with you guys is a vaseline good old vaseline we were using coconut oil before because as you guys know before um we had johnson um baby products but we were told that it's not good for the baby don't use that even my midwife told me not to use the johnson brand and i basically just didn't now i then started to use like natural oils such, such as shea butter coconut oil and things like that um i find that coconut oil was good however their skin did not agree with the coconut oil and what she did agree with was gold old vaseline now this is what we use on her skin on a daily basis and it does wonders you guys i'm not like even telling a lie it is absolutely amazing on the topic of natural oils i am going to share with you guys what is in this jar now this is not just this is not your coconut oil you guys this is just this is a coconut oil jar however we have basically we have shea butter in there this is what we basically use for zaya's cradle cap as you guys know um, when babies are born they have something called a cradle cup now this is what we use for Zaya's cradle cup and we basically put this on her scalp and then we gently just comb out the um, cradle cup and it has been working so well for us and um, this is our own homemade remedy um, I will ask Coco what is in this jar but I know it is majority sheer butter and she will put it in the description box or she'll put it on the screen but yeah, this is basically what I've been using for Zaya's cradle cup and this is what it looks like. Okay, so when babies are first born, well our baby anyway, Zaya has, you know, two proper baths a week since she was born and this is what we use to um, bath Zaya. This is just some um, Sebamed, we got this from Costco. Um, this is mum's... Um, this is basically what mum uses to, buy, to bath Zaya. I basically don't give Zaya baths. I give her the dry baths. But this is what she used. This is their soap for her baths. And this is just basically Sebamed, oily face and body wash. And this is what she uses to um, have a bath with. This is absolutely amazing. I love it. And she's been using it since she was born i have nothing bad to say about this this is just really really good even on the days that i have to give a dry baths i just put some on like wipes or put some on a cotton bud and i basically just wipe her down with it and it does wonders wonders for her skin and i would recommend that you guys um try this because it is absolutely amazing instead of using some of these other brands just actually try this and you and let me know in the comments down below if you actually do try it how it works for your baby and how it goes but i think it is absolutely amazing this is made for sensitive and delicate skin and they definitely has sensitive skin just like her mama and yeah this is basically one of the reasons i would recommend it if not the reason I would recommend it is because it is made for sensitive and delicate skin and you guys know that when babies are first born their skin is just so sensitive and it is one of those things where it's just trial and error but this is really really, really good. Still on skin now, Zaya 
um, over the last two weeks um, or a week has had um, eczema come up on her skin first it was just baby acne then it went into a rash and then we actually figured out that it was eczema so mum um, basically put me on this and this is Diprobase this can be found in boots and it is good and it is amazing for babies with eczema um Zaya had it all over her face and it was just it was just looking bad you guys but now it's actually cleared it up and we've been only using this for since thursday and today is wednesday so we've been using this for less than a week for about six days and it's done absolutely wonders so if your baby comes up with eczema or any spots or anything like that i would recommend that you use diprobase instead of using and um, we were using basically like i've said we were using e45 on their skin we we're using coconut oil however that didn't work for her and she still had eczema so we basically started using diprobase for the last six days and it's clear up her skin and everything is good and it just looks brand new it's just it's really really good so i would recommend this for all the new mums out there that are looking for something to use when the baby has eczema try diprobase because it works the next thing that i want to share with you guys is Infacol. Now, Infacol is for colicky babies. As you guys know, Zaya is not breastfed. She is bottle fed. And for some bottle fed babies, they are or do suffer from colic. So Zaya does unfortunately suffer from colic. Um, her stomach does give her problems. And over the last few weeks, this is another brand that my mom recommended to me. So if you guys are having babies and you have moms, listen to your moms because they actually know they actually know things and this is a brand that was recommended to me by mum and she said mercy let's try infocal and we have been trying infocal for the last two weeks and it works absolutely wonders Zaya has this once a day just before she's about to go to sleep and i find that she has like the best sleep ever when she's drank her milk gone through her routine and then eventually has infocal it actually does her wonders it's what the bottle looks like if you guys have a colicky baby try infocal because infocal works wonders um we did try gripe water however she didn't like gripe water at all she would spit it in your face <laughs> yeah she hated gripe water hence why mum suggested infocal and infocal she she doesn't like to swallow it that much because i i guess it doesn't taste like milk but however it does wonders for her and it is absolutely amazing so i would definitely definitely recommend it for isaiah you guys like okay on the subject of being bottle fed um we basically had to find bottles and we were thinking okay what bottles can we use the first bottle that i have to recommend and the first bottle that i absolutely love and she uses to this day is dr brown now dr brown bottles are absolutely this is what they look like this one's just been sterilized guys so yeah this is basically what dr brown bottles look like and they are absolutely amazing i love them because i have the infant size to you know when they grow up i think this is the biggest size that i have which is 270 milliliters and it is absolutely amazing i absolutely love 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 this bottle and the reason why i love this bottle so much is because if your baby suffers from colic which mine does it has this green compartment thing in there it has this green bit in the bottle which basically takes up all the air that way when your baby is drinking she doesn't actually swallow the air which gives her hiccups or which is bad for the colic it actually just swallows up all the air and yeah it just it's just just really really good i recommend this and it was recommended to me by moms by all moms on the internet and i listened and it actually works the next bottle I have to um, say is really, really good. The next bottle that Zaya uses is the Avent Philips bottles. Now, this is absolutely amazing. I think this is the best. This is the um, baby size bottle. However, there is a bigger version to this, which she, which she uses now because obviously she drinks a lot more. But however, when she was a baby, this is what we use. Well, she's still a baby, but now she's a growing baby. So when she was, you know, newly born, this is what we use. It's just 125 milliliters. And I think the other bottle is a lot bigger and it's like 270 milliliters. But this 
this guys these are really really good so first i would say is the dr browns the second bottle i would recommend is the avent phillips bottle and the third bottle i'm going to tell you guys about is the mum now the mum bottles are beautiful i absolutely love love the mum bottles now i'm going to tell you guys wait i'm going to tell you guys why i love the mum bottles first of all the tit is absolutely I love the tit, the shape of the tit, and this is just because of the, for newly born babies, the tit is perfect because they can just put it in their mouth and, and it's just easy to just suck on. And the next thing I love about this bottle, I just like the design of the bottle. I think it's beautiful and it does well for colic babies as well because it basically sucks up all the air from the bottom. That way your baby is not actually swallowing the air and if you open it up when you're trying to sterilize it it actually just opens up at the bottom and you can just sterilize it very very well make sure everything is clean so for that reason i absolutely love the mum bottles um to be honest what what's aesthetically pre pleasing to me is the shape of the, i absolutely love the aesthetics of the bottle and i actually love love mum bottles so yeah this has to be one of my personal favorite bottles the next thing i'm going to share with you guys is this meet ollie now ollie is a white noise a machine now um basically when isaiah goes to sleep she can't sleep without no background noise she loves loves background noise and what she loves is the white noise which is the shh apparently um, white noise reminds babies of when they were in the womb and that's basically the sound that the white noise produces and they absolutely love it and this has been trialed and tested and they absolutely love it so instead of using my phone and my computer and i'm thinking oh my god what should i do i basically went and bought ollie now ollie was renamed olua zizi yes ollie was renamed olua zizi and he is absolutely amazing because this button plays like a twinkle a twinkle a little star and then it does the shh the white noise and then this side it basically um does um some more sounds so guys olu right now does not have batteries olu one disadvantage to olu is that olu uses batteries instead of being charged i wish olu was recharged because that would be a lot easier on us and it would just be very very cost effective for everybody however olu does wonders olu on this side has um light settings so he, olu is also a night light just medium just um low medium and high and um olu does light up here and then on this side is basically on olu's left foot this is basically just the um volume so it's like low medium and high but yeah i absolutely love olu and the reason i love olu is because i thought i could basically use olu um in different places such as when she's sleeping she uses olu when she's in her pram because she basically isn't into her pram that much or her car seat we could just you know clip olu onto the car seat or the pram and she could still be entertained by olu so olu has been yeah olu is absolutely useful and i just i just yeah Is on the subject of Isaiah not liking her pram this is something that she does like and this is something that helps us when we are out and about and this is the Chico Easy Fit um, carrier Zaya absolutely loves loves this um, every time she's in it she's so calm she goes straight to sleep and she just minds her own business whereas when she's in a pram she's bah, bah, and she's just like no nah, it's too much I can't so yeah Coco basically suggested that we get her a carrier and we did get her another carrier but that wasn't fit for purpose so we basically got this one and what I have to say about this carrier business guys is sometimes an exp sometimes just because something's expensive or you know it doesn't mean that it's good this um 
carrier was the cheapest on the website and obviously i think you have to get a reputable brand which um you have to just do your research and make sure that everything that you're buying for your baby is good quality and everyone has good things to say about it and this is basically what we found with this carrier everyone had very good reviews and everyone had good things to say about it however i have to say on the price mark it was the cheapest of the carrier brands um however just because something's expensive doesn't mean it's good and that's the one thing i'm learning as a mom right now is because just because something costs so much doesn't mean it's necessarily fit for purpose and this has been absolutely fit for purpose and we love it i'm just gonna open it up for you guys and show you guys what it looks like it's really really straightforward to use to be honest just very very easy and we basically absolutely love this this is what the this is basically this is what the carrier looks like and you can adjust it here depending on how big your baby is right now there is very small newborn so you have to just um cinch it up to there and then as she gets bigger you can obviously um just loosen it up a bit but right now it is tightened um it basically has four clips you basically wear it and then you clip it here and you clip it there and boom that's it you're good to go the baby can either be facing this way or you can be facing front way so it is absolutely fit for purpose it's amazing i love it like i i don't have anything bad to say about this even when you're on your own you can actually put it on quite easily and i love that about it so yes 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 if you are looking for a carrier i would absolutely recommend 100 percent the chico is a fit and see how it works for you and your baby because for me and mine it's worked absolutely fantastic the next thing i'm going to share with you guys is the hood pillow so yeah i know on the market these days there's some ex uh -huh. This is what I've been looking for. This is our hood version to the snooze pod. Now, when I was pregnant, I really wanted a snooze pod. I thought it was so cute. I was like, oh, my baby's baby gonna look so cute in that. They say it's comfortable. She's gonna be absolutely comfortable. However, we basically, my mom invented the hood pillow, and we basically use this for Zaya to sleep in, and it is absolutely amazing and she loves it and the reason why i can say she loves it is because we've bought her another pillow which is not a snooze pod but it's i think it's like the mauve something pillow and she absolutely hates it she hates it but she loves her hood pillow now i'm gonna show you guys how we make the hood pillow in a different um video but basically this is what the hood pillow looks like and she loves this and this is this is basically this is basically what she sleeps in every single day of her life and she absolutely loves it the next thing i'm going to show you guys is the medela breast pump now most of you would look at me like my sister was like massey you're not even breastfeeding like what the hell like and, and i was like but if i was breastfeeding this would be absolutely useful because i did use it a couple of times so i'm not just chatting for the sake of chatting guys this is this these are things that i've used and i've had an opportunity to use this and if i was breastfeeding and if i was pumping i would absolutely 100 percent use this because it is easy to use um it is just basically fit for purpose it's just straightforward it's amazing it's it, it basically does the job and if you're looking for a breast pump, this is a good one. And this is not a manual breast pump, this is an electric breast pump. So that way you can just plug it in, sit there, do whatever you're doing, pump your milk, pump your breast, and boom, you're good to go. But this has been, you know, for the few, the few times I did use it, this was absolutely amazing. And I do love it and I would recommend it to any new mom out there that is looking for a breast pump. This is a very good brand and it is absolutely okay the last few things i'm going to share with you guys is the tommy tippy grooming kit now this is absolutely fit for purpose very useful 
and I love using this on baby Isaiah. Everyone loves using this on baby Isaiah. It has a comb, it has a um, nail cutter, it has scissors, it has everything, a hairbrush. This has basically has everything you will need for your baby. Everything you need for your baby is in this grooming kit and I basically would recommend it for any new mom out there that's looking for a grooming kit for their baby this is really really good really amazing and I absolutely well we absolutely love it the last two items in our little mini haul is well this is basically what it is this is a Tommy Tippy um, bottle warmer now when i first got this well when mom first bought this i thought it was quite useless and i wasn't going to use it and i did think like okay i get the point but am i really going to use it but now i actually now it's coming well i live in england and it is coming to winter i have found you know i found this very very useful especially over the last week or so um so yeah, is bottle fed as you guys know and this is very useful for me because when I go to sleep I basically make a few bottles now um, listen you guys I'm not gonna be waking up in the middle of the night to make bottles as I go because personally I know myself I can't manage it so I have to do what works for me and my baby and I make a few bottles and um, every single time I'm feeding her one I basically put one in here it has three settings which is low medium and high and it basically warms up the bottle you know made to fresh and I found this very very useful for you new mums that can or any mum that can wake up in the middle of the night and make fresh bottles good for you as for me I also need to sleep and I find this so so useful and it works for me, my, me and my baby and we basically absolutely absolutely love it last but not least item is Zaya's bathtub now um, I remember I said that I was gonna show you guys in the baby haul the big item baby haul that I did which I never did but I'm gonna show it to you now and this has been very very good to me and I don't give Zaya baths but when mum gives her baths this is what she uses and this is the mama's and papa's bathtub and this is do you know the reason I love this is because you can use it many in many different ways and this can actually grow with your baby and Zaya I would say is Isaiah is quite a big baby so now she's able to actually sit here while she has a bath and enjoy oops put a foundation in it but yeah now she's actually able to sit in here while she has a bath and she actually likes it as your baby grows older this grows this grows with your baby and you know until they can obviously no longer fit in it but it is massive it is a very very massive tub and i've seen the other tubs on the market for babies and they are quite small which means that in a few months or in you know in about a few months or a year time you'd have to look for another another bathtub and you would have to change your bathtub however this one goes from newborn to when your baby is a toddler which i find very very useful and very just yeah it's great and it basically just has a plug here like it's like a plug hole which basically you can just lift and it lets all the water out drains wherever you want to drain your water and it is absolutely useful and beautiful now if you guys like this video please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and um let let me know what what worked for you guys when you guys had your baby or if you're a new mom and what's working for you now or if you have any advice on any of the products that i've used if you think it's good give it a thumbs up if you have anything else to say leave it in the comments down below and please don't forget to of course like comment and subscribe and i will catch you catch you guys in my next video bye